The male art teacher came up to me and in a slightly embarrassed voice said, Your pad is stuck on the back of your shirt. Nasty. Hey guys, it's Sharon. Welcome to your welcome back to my channel. Y'all already know what time it is. It is that time of the month and yes, I literally mean the time of the month where mother nature comes and decides to just ruin everything for a week because she can and she feels like it and we just take it because we literally have no other option, you know. It is what it is. I try my best to make you feel a little bit better about your time of the month and having potentially really embarrassing situations with your time of the month by reading other people's potentially really embarrassing time of the month stories to, you know, hopefully make you feel better about yours. Right, right, haha. <laughs> top it off, I rank them. So let me introduce you to the rankings. In the green, we got, wait, did I write this? Cause same bestie. Above that we have, you're joking. This is so ridiculous and so insane. I have to believe that you're joking. It's a joke. In the middle ground, we have, it sucks, but you'll be okay. Just shake it off. Everything will be Gucci, we hope. Above that is Gaslight Gatekeep Girl Boss. We're gonna act like this never happened. We're not gonna think about it. We're not gonna talk about it. We're gonna deny, deny, deny. <laughs> and above that is the worst of the worst. This was so embarrassing, you need to change your identity. Now grab your snacks, grab your tea, and please feel free to rank along with me, and let's get into this. It was a heavy day and I had really bad cramps, so during class, I asked my male teacher to go to the nurse's office to get medicine or rest for a bit. He literally said very loudly to the class, this is the perfect example of why girls are over dramatic. I'm not going to be the teacher that gives all the girls special treatment. Then he told me to sit down and he told me if I tried to leave that he would give me detention. Oh. <laughs> Okay. About 10 minutes after the incident, my cramps got so bad that I collapsed onto the floor and apparently I had bled out onto the floor due to my pad shifting when I collapsed. <gasps> And there was a kid in my class who had a huge phobia of blood. He passed out due to seeing my blood. In the end, we both went to the ER and my parents sued the school and the teacher got fired and blacklisted from joining any of the schools in the district. As he should! Tommy, you really thought you did something? I feel like that is like the bare minimum that you should know about people is periods happen and periods are not fun. We should take periods seriously. I really, I don't mean to say this at the expense of you know the person who shared this story because they passed out, but I'm glad you passed out in that teacher's room and I'm glad that other kid did too because that day, that teacher learned. He could have learned that forever ago, but I guess he's never spoken to a woman before. <laughs> this is gonna go in, you're joking. My sister bled through her wedding dress and her now ex-husband divorced her two weeks after they got married because she ruined what was supposed to be the perfect day for him. But honestly, he did sleep with her best friend. What? Wait a damn minute. I mean, I love you too, by the way. Uh, so sorry for your sisters. I, I was gonna say sorry for your sister's loss, but it's not really a loss because you're divorcing me? over getting my period and ruining our wedding. Um, emphasis on the word our wedding. I'm the one who's here in a white dress with a giant period stain, but you're upset? Dodged a bullet. This sucks, but you will be okay because you dodged that bullet of a man. I'm sorry, did you think when you were marrying a woman that periods weren't gonna happen? <laughs> Buddy, my white dress is red. Oh, and to top it off, he also slept with her best friend, by the way. <laughs> the worst part of this entire thing but <laughs> trash took itself out it's all good i was in the store with my grandma trying on shorts and i put on a pair of white shorts oh buddy we decided to get them not knowing i had just blood in my pants we got to the register and the guy checking us out noticed and he asked to talk to me in private he asked if i was being abused i said no not knowing there was blood on my pants it was a terrible day <laughs> That's so awkward. But honestly, he was just looking out. He was a concerned citizen, really trying to make sure you weren't getting your booty beat. And I respect that for him. Do I kind of wish that maybe he would have, you know, thought about it a little bit more and been like, hmm, young girl, hmm, blood on coochie part of shorts. Ha, huh, one plus three, period? No. It sucks, but you'll be okay. And this man was making sure that you were okay. You almost had it. I was at school and I felt something wet. I asked the female teacher to use the restroom, saying it's an emergency. She said, we all go through it, just hold it in. Do we though? 
teach? Do we all go through it actually? If you're telling me to just hold it in, if we all went through it, you included, you know that we can't hold it in. You sing a lot too. Like, I, especially during the rehearsal stage. How are some of these people teachers? Especially as someone who also bleeds. Uh, I'm sorry, teach, we can't all be perfect like you and somehow suck in our coochies to hold that blood in. You're joking. You have to be joking. Your teacher is not a girl's girl. Ooh. Oh look, it's the part of the video where I tell you about my period journal. So this right here, this is a journal where you can track your period. The days you got your period, how heavy your flow was, how did you feel, did you have any of these symptoms? It says don't overreact. It's so cute. I know I designed it myself. This is how you get to know your period and your body some more. This can track up to four years worth of periods. So if you'd like to get one and support your girl, I will link them for you in my bio. You can get them on Amazon. Please and thank you. Anyways. It was class pet day, so the teacher brings a pet, and whoever she picks gets to take care of the pet for the day and bring it back to school the next day. I got picked, and I had to take care of Philip the dog. Y'all got a pet dog? I'm over here thinking, oh, it's gonna be like a lizard, a hamster, a turtle, an entire dog? Can I pick that dog? That's a crazy class pet. Anyways, when I got home, I realized I started my period. The next morning, I brought the dog back. When she picked him up, she saw him chewing on something. She opened his mouth, and the dog was chewing on my bloody tampon. When I was changing my tampon last night, Philip must have went through the trash bin. <laughs> oh, oh, Philip! No, Philip! Say ooh. Hey, on the bright side though, this is when you're like, that's crazy. Whose tampon is that? That's not my tampon at all. Must have been my mom's. Guess like gatekeep girl boss, bro. Maybe Philip found that tampon while we were walking to school or something. Not me telling people to gaslight each other. <laughs> bro, why are dogs always the first one to let everyone else know that you're on your period? Come up and sniff in my coochie like that, please. Not everyone needs to know right now. <laughs> Maybe this is why you shouldn't have a dog as a class pet. You know who would never do this? A turtle. I was visiting an art gallery and on that day I wore a white dress. I was looking at a random painting and then I felt my period. I looked down to see a red stain spreading across my dress. Horrified. I stumbled backward, accidentally knocking into the painting, smearing my stain on the canvas. Oh no! And in an art gallery, you need to change your identity immediately. No one is as serious as art people are. They're gonna ban you for life. So that's why if you ever want to go into another art gallery ever, you need to change your identity. How hard did you have to bump into it for your blood to smear on it? Oh my god. Did you imagine it was like the Mona Lisa of all things? <laughs> Even though she's behind a glass case, you can't even get this close to the Mona Lisa. Actually, maybe that's why. Is it your fault or is it the art gallery's fault for not taking better care of the art? I am the one, the one. Never had one, but I've had a story just as scary. I was once not subscribed to Just Sharon. Oh, it's terrifying. Are you subscribed to Just Sharon? You should be. I'll wait. Please and thank you. I was 12 years old and my period was late. I started to stress that I was pregnant even though I had never had sex in my life. So I started telling people that I might be pregnant and then after a few days, I got my period and they laughed at me. I wrote this. I think we all wrote this. There is no worse feeling than expecting your period and knowing your period is supposed to come and she's just not coming. And all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, did the air get me pregnant? Am I the next? Mary? I feel you. I feel you. It is one of the worst things to go through and for some reason mother nature just loves making us go through it. <laughs> I went to the bathroom to change my pad in the morning, and when I went to school, I heard a few kids laughing and snickering throughout the day. Around the end of the day, the male art teacher came up to me and in a slightly embarrassed voice said, Your pad is stuck on the back of your shirt. Wait, your dirty pad? Because they went to the bathroom to change in the morning. Oh, oh no. Bestie, you, you need to change your identity. Move schools, move counties, move states, countries even. How does that happen, bro? How does a pad stick to your shirt instead? I would lay awake at night cringing about this. I'm so sorry. The smell you must have created in all those classrooms. <laughs> Back in sixth grade, I was in the bathroom and this girl peeped through the stall and saw me putting my tampon. She screamed and ran to the principal's office and said it was my fault and that I had purposely shown her that. Huh? I got suspended for one week and nobody believed that it was her peeping. It wasn't until a year later that the other girls were complaining about her looking at them. So she got expelled and my suspension was taken off my chart. Yay, smiley face. 
this entire school thought I was a pervert for an entire year when it was the other girl that was the pervert creeping on other people being a little peeping Tom. Oh my gosh, she gaslit girl boss gatekeeped the entire school. Now, this is when you gaslight gatekeep girl boss right back. I would deny this happened to me, but I won't let anyone else forget that they thought it was me. I don't like inserting my own tampon. I don't imagine I'd like watching myself inserting my own tampon. Why would I want to watch other people insert tampons? Y'all are sick. And by y'all, I mean this peeping Tina. I remember when I first got my period, my mom told me I was disgusting Ooh. and told me not to tell anyone about it. She didn't even tell me how to put on a pad or anything. Dude, a lot of older generations find periods gross and something that you shouldn't talk about and something that is to be ashamed about. And I'm here to tell you right now, it's not. It is a natural body bodily function that you can deny and hide and try and shame it as much as you want. It's not going to go away. It's what our bodies do. Because of that, I'm going to put this at, wait, did I write this? Because I feel like a lot of us might go through this. Oh no, me, a person with a vagina has a period? <gasps> pretends to be shocked. I was walking to class with one of my guy friends. I tell him that I'm on my period and he straight up asked with the most serious face, how can you get your period if you're a lesbian? I look him dead in the eyes and say, how can you have a penis if you're gay? He never spoke to me again. <laughs> you're joking, right? <laughs> what does your sexuality have to do with if you have a period or not? Buddy. Um, so where are the gays? Where the gays? <laughs> Common sense is apparently not common anymore, so it is our duty to combat it with non-common sense. <laughs> I was walking to the bathroom and I saw a girl put her bloody tampon back in. Babes. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. Once it comes out, it goes in the trash and you find something else. And if you don't have another tampon, you wrap some toilet paper and use a makeshift pad until you are able to get another period product. The amount of submissions I read of people like reusing their old pads, no. That's a breeding ground for bacteria. You don't want to do that. Make do with a makeshift pad until you can get something else. The infections are not worth it. For this one, I'm just going to put it in gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss, emphasis on girl boss. Girl bosses toss their period products. Periuses. If you want to reuse them, get a menstrual cup. This last one says, I asked my teacher to go to the bathroom and she agreed. I stuffed a tampon in my sleeve and as I was walking out, she grabbed my sleeve, pulled out the tampon and sent me to the principal. She thought it was a sex toy. Long story short, she quit two days later. Heart. I know you guys do heart, but this this just feels wrong to me. Ooh. This feels uh, like a little creature of heart. <laughs> You're joking, right? A whole she pulled out the tampon and thought it was a sex toy. Have you never seen a tampon in your life ever? Not even a tampon commercial. Wait a minute. Do they even show tampons in tampon commercials? Because I'm thinking about tampon commercials right now, and all I can think about is these women doing these things, looking all happy as shit, like jumping through hoops and playing tennis and stuff. And I'm like, I never feel like that on my period. That's insane, though. How have you lived your entire life without seeing a tampon? Or a sex toy like they are nothing alike one has like batteries and like buttons and looks sexual the other one is a wad of cotton i don't think she should have been teaching anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give a big thumbs up if you would like to share your period horror stories with us please do so in the comments below and i will actually make sure to leave a form in the pinned comment for you to send me your stories for our next episode shout out the day goes to veronica sawyer 6284 look at that sis perfect timing no better time to watch a period video than on your period to be honest so Congrats, you did it. <laughs> if you aren't yet subscribed, you should totally subscribe because if you enjoyed the tea today, there's a bunch more tea on my channel for you to binge and a bunch more tea coming your way. So please subscribe. It would make my period easier. Not really, but like I could guess on myself into thinking it would. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you stay safe out there. I hope you are not having, you know, embarrassing period experiences. But at the same time, I kind of hope you do so I have more stories so we can keep making these videos. So yeah, never mind. Love